Hey everyone, it's Perrin here to give a couple of quick tips on how to understand and use the new set mechanic Legends in Teamfight Tactics from Terra Reforged. Legends are a brand new mechanic which you can use to influence your augment choices offered each game. Each legend will guarantee one of your three augments in every offering. This will help specialize in a specific playstyle that you can use to improve the consistency of your game plan, whether it's heavy economy, extra items, or maybe even some cheeky reroll strategies. Think of it like your runes or masteries in League of Legends in the past, or a loadout of an FPS game. Before you queue, click on the small circle next to your little legend icon. You'll see a pop-up menu where you can equip a new legend. By the way, legends are primarily balanced around that first augment offered because this is the augment you spend the most time with in the game. If you love the first augment offered, but the second and third augments aren't particularly appealing, that's okay because this set you get so many augment rerolls so you can afford a passive. I categorize all the legends into five distinct playstyles: One, direction. Two, items. Three, gold four combat power and five flexibility if you want direction consider taking earth mastery or caitlin everyone's favorite summoner's risk mascot earth is here to cheer you on to any direction that you want take earth to get things like tome of traits early and push yourself down any early emblems and verticals that you get alternatively if you know exactly what you want like to summon bear nasher with eight void wait till you have a good amount of traits on your board before selling your tomes so you can maximize your chance of hitting that exact emblem the best unit to field for your composition is timo because you cannot get multicaster or yordle emblems so you get two free traits that can't appear in your tome. And remember, it's not when you play the unit, it's after combat has resolved before your traits register for that tome. Wuju Mastery sharpens his mind and blade in honor of people from Ionia. And this is captured in Runeterra Reforged by granting your units infinite scaling attack speed. Pick your favorite attack speed champions to play around, such as Azir, Callista, Garen, and more to give them ramping power as long as you survive. It can also be generically good with AD champions like Ziri or Aphelios because now you have a lot of attack speed with your attack damage. Remember that attack speed scales with flat damage sources, so any augments that give you that plus AD or plus AP will combo well with Master E. The Sheriff of Piltover, Caitlyn, demonstrates her peacemaking skills by generously offering free champions to shape the direction of your game. The Prismatic Augment Starter Kit will be one of the strongest augments that you can start with as long as you can build flexibly around whatever four cost you get. Stars are born are potentially a strong reroll augment as well, where you can combo with double two stars very fast. There's even some potential crazy combos with augments like Recombobulator if you happen to have a strong two-star board that you don't mind transforming. Caitlyn is also a really good legend to combo with Built Different because if you get all those free two stars, you're going to have a guaranteed strong board. If you want extra items so you can play multiple carries, multiple tanks, have a bunch of utility and combo power, pick Ezreal, Orn, Bard, or Twisted Fate. Everyone's favorite Spelunker Ezreal has yet again hit the raid jackpot. With so many extra items, you'll be able to have tempo early and easily itemize a secondary tank or carry of your choice. Make sure to pick up augments that synergize with extra items like cybernetic power-ups or multiply item buffs such as Not Today, Idealism, and A Cut Above. The demigod of Frailure Orn has been hard at work and willing to lend you some of his finest craftsmanships yet. With all the new Orn items available to set, you'll be able to pull off innovative new combos never before seen. Here's a few tips on how to use some of those new Orn items. Deathfire Grasp on AP Burst champions like Lux, Azir, or Multicasters are really strong. Sniper is really good with AD champions like Zeri and Aphelios. You want Hull Crusher on melee hyper carries such as Rek'Sai or even potentially Yasuo. Trister Glass is particularly really good with units that have big, powerful spells such as Jarvan, Scion, or potentially Rise. I personally believe that Orn may have one of the highest ceilings because we just don't have all the knowledge of what combos and possibilities they are. So try them out for yourself and let me know what you think. Bard, the cosmic traveler across the universe, has collected all sorts of curious items in his journey. Bard offers you random resources for leveling up. So if you love to power level and be ahead of the curve or start with a strong gold opener, consider taking his augments. Bard is one of the rare legends that his strongest choice is towards the end, getting things like multiple Zeke's Herald at the end of the game gives you incredible attack speed boost for some of those attack speed oriented champions. Bard is particularly really good with champions that you want to play with attack speed like Azir or Aphelios. Some good augments to combo with Bard are things like Rich Get Richer to give you extra gold or Level Up to give you that extra EXP boost. Twisted Fate is the best in slot items king. 
If you only want to play specific items and have the best in slot everything, pick Twisted Fate. The card gambler truly encapsulates some of the most degen form of TFT, hard forcing items and compositions for whatever you want to play. If you only want to play Viego Reroll 20 out of 20, for example, Pandora's will guarantee you the perfect three items as long as you're willing to wait for it. Combo your Pandora's items with any extra components or item augments so you can maximize your chance of getting online quicker and make that perfect combo of six aura items on your hyper carry. For example, one composition that dominated early was having Garen with six Zeke's Herald so he can spin to win and get that Beyblade action. For people who are fans of having a ton of gold and resources so they can roll down or get that level that they want for that fast eight, fast nine, consider taking Tom Kench, Draven, Aurelian Soul, or Lee Sin. I fear not the man who has played 10,000 reroll comps one time, but the man who has played one reroll comp 10,000 times. Leeson improves that blind luck factor by giving you reroll centric augments. So chase your favorite four star Yordle or get those carry units with honor roll and trade sector. Keep in mind that shopping spree, while it looks like a cool reroll augment, is actually more for leveling and playing around the three and four cost because you want to get those free rolls, but you're not going to have the odds of hitting the low cost units. There's really powerful combos with things like wise spending or any of the tickets, whether bronze, silver, or gold, so you can get those free resources. Tom Kench, known for his insatiable appetite, will offer you the power of money. Lots of money, potentially even infinite money. Consider taking hedge fund and push the maximum levels of greed. You'll feel like the richest person in the world, but hopefully instead of buying and collecting L's on Twitter, you'll end up with a W instead. Use this gold stack to either get to level eight or nine quickly, or use it for a crazy roll down to hit the three-star unit you've always wanted. Draven pillages his opponents with spoils of war with each execution of the spinning axe. I highly recommend Draven if you enjoy that drip economy to get that extra gold every round, help play for win streak and get that tempo to level up earlier. If you aren't sure if you can win streak, you can still take spoils of war if you have a strong two-star champion early that has a reasonable chance to kill units. For example, if you have a two-star Cho or two-star Jin, chances are you're going to be able to get kills every fight and have that gold drop chance. Combo Spoils of War with other combat power augments. Anything that gives you offensive stats to extra shields or healing. My favorite augment to combo with Draven is Gifts from the Fallen because every unit that dies gives you a higher chance for that last remaining unit to have so much power that it gets those kills and extra gold. Aurelian Soul is for those who love pumping levels and capitalize off the four and five cost units. The master of the cosmos blesses all of his loyal followers with free experience points, which is essentially free gold. So you too can experience the Soju special firsthand. Look out for interesting combinations that can happen with leveling up, such as Caretaker's Chosen or Late Game Specialist. For players that love those combat power augments to get those immediate spikes, consider taking Vagar or Vladimir. Vagar, one of the most powerful and evil sorcerers in all of Runeterra, has only but one wish to destroy anything and everything. Vagar will offer you massive amount of damage stats so your carries can all feel like they have fourth or fifth items. Vagar is particularly powerful if you have high flat damage traits like sorcerers that give you ability power or gutters that give you attack damage. Remember that if you pick an augment like Jeweled Lotus, whoever it affects does not want Jewel Gauntlet or Infinity Edge since most of the power of these items is giving your abilities a chance to critically strike. If you end up playing big Jewel Lotus powerful compositions, consider boosting the power of your AP champions with things like chalices that can get that huge amount of critical strike. Vladimir, the thirstiest champion of all in Runeterra, will show you the secrets of how he extended his unnaturally long life. The power of augments that buff the durability of your composition, your health-focused traits like Juggernauts and Bruisers and Shirima will allow you to bleed your opponents dry over time. Transfusion also scales with lose streaking, so you can make those dramatic winouts on low HP. For example, combo Vladimir with final reserves for that potential epic comeback from one life. For people who want flexibility and pure TFT and want to play whatever the game gives you, pick one of the adorable couple members, Poro or Pengu. Pengu is love, Pengu is life. The Finding Mascot on TFT is a recommended beginner legend because it offers you a lot of healing mechanics to start the game and gives you time to build your ideal composition. Piltover fans who love to lose streak will also enjoy Pengu because you have all that extra time for that lose streaking an opportunity to turn it around. Another cool combo is to take Tiny Titans early and then other augments that benefit off of losing HP, such as Transfusion. Poro is for the strong, independent, purist, flex TFT players who don't need no more dog. You will get no pre-selected augments, 
Instead, you'll get a cute companion who is down for anything, and you can show off your gigabrained awesome TFT plays. Take Poro if you just want that distilled, basic, nostalgic throwback where you can just get any augment at any time. So there you have it, all of the legends broken down with a couple of extra tips to help you get started. What's your favorite legend? Let me know in the comments below. Good luck out there, and I'll see you guys in Challenger.